clothes, lots and lots of clothes in this college student's bedroom. She's been away at college for the last few years and she's home on Christmas break. She has clothes since high school here to go through. Here's closet number one and closet number two. We're gonna go through all of her clothes. It's gonna take us about four hours to get through it all and we're gonna refresh her bedroom. We chatted a little bit first, but we knew the game plan, clothes, that's the focus. So I brought in my table, we set up a nice processing zone. We put sorting bins underneath and she decided that she wanted to do a pile and a bin for consignment, a pile and a bin for friends to give away, and last but not least, donate. Also trash on the left hand side on that trash bag on the floor there. Now that we have our processing zone all set up, I supported them by corralling things to purge in clear bins and set them to the side of the table as they would go through them. And then also as the bins underneath would fill up, I would transfer them into trash bags with the appropriate labels depending on which bin I was emptying. I also used a garment rack outside in the hallway there to support any clothes that needed hanging. And for any clothes that we decided to keep, we staged them on the bed into appropriate piles based on the type of clothing that it was. Now, the goal for this bedroom was, of course, to not only purge and sort, but to organize and reorganize how the clothes were in the closets laid out. Now, she's been at college. However, she will be moving back home full time to pursue her next step of her career. So she will be bringing clothes back from school and we wanted to make sure that she had enough space and function as soon as she moved back home. Another goal we had was to eventually shift the bed back in between those exposed closets that you see on those walls there. So that's where the bed was originally designed to go. So that was the end goal for the day. We ended up bringing the garment rack out once we got to the closets. We had been purging all of the drawers first and all of the smaller clothes. Now we're doing all the hanging clothes. So what I did was pull that garment rack out and just start pulling everything out of the closets. And then she would go through one rack and then we would refresh it with another set of clothes. She was really great at making decisions. Anytime a client knows how they feel, knows who they are, knows what they want or don't want, it helps make things run a lot smoother. However, she did need someone to bounce her feelings off of. Her mom and I were there to support her, but she was really great, and we had a ton of clothes, as you can see, to continue going through. Now, the exposed closets on the wall, the goal there was to color code and she wanted black, gray, white, and brown. So as you watch this time lapse, you'll see those start to transform. I stuck sticky notes up to help us remember what her goals were and what she wanted. As I previously mentioned, she will be moving back home to pursue the next chapter of her life. And she's not quite sure what that next step might be. She's got a lot of options ahead of her. So when we got to the hanging section of the closet, the nicer clothes, we did have to have a discussion on, you know, what what's the next step? What's her career? Who's she going to be? Um, and sometimes if you don't know that next step, it can be hard to make decisions based on the unknown. So she did keep some staple pieces for a professional career just in case she wants to intern or find her next job. We are about to wrap up purging clothes here and you're about to see the shifting of the bed, which is going to feel really good. So get ready for the visual of that. That was really fun. I love moving furniture. I've always been a fan of refreshing a room. So whenever you're doing a big organizing project, you start with the biggest category, the obvious thing, and that was clothes. Now, now that the clothes are set, we have everything laid out, it's all the different odds and ends that fit in around the clothes. So uh, electronics, memorabilia, uh, her personal care items. There is a vanity to your left along the wall there that she had. And once we started to organize these little things, we noticed that she didn't have a lot of support, storage support, because the drawers that you see on the wall, those are her dresser drawers. So she really didn't have any storage options. I did create a purchase list or some product recommendation list for that room going forward once she moves back in, uh, which included either like another set of drawers or a different type of vanity. She didn't really even have a desk, although I know nowadays people don't maybe really need desks because you kind of work from anywhere. But uh, I also recommended a back of the door storage, a shoe rack, some under bed storages could really help support her moving back in. I don't know if she was able to purge enough space for the future incoming of her clothes from school, 
but I know she'll be able to handle that little bit when she does get back. And she did show me a picture and a video of her room at school. So here is the before reminder of where we were when we got started. I would say she purged definitely 50% or more of the clothes that she had, and she really needed to. We didn't get a chance to super detail her closets after. Of course, these are still the before shots. You're going to see the after shots here coming soon. Uh, but yeah, she did get rid of a lot. Uh, she did end up getting a shoe rack to include. Here is the after shots. No more piles or bins. We've got the color coding, the black, gray, white and brown is on the right side over there. We stuck that mirror in the corner uh, so that she was able to create some more wall space behind us here. I think I am going to pan over. Yes, there we go. So that's kind of the area she really needs more storage support. Here's the closets afterwards. I recommended a shoe rack, which she did end up getting for the floor, and a back of the door storage. And here we decided to do winter. Those are all long sleeves. And here's before and after and before and after, but that's without the shoe rack. That was everything that got donated and consigned, and those were all the trash bags. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy organizing!